Good morning. Having died and risen again, Jesus spent some time with his followers. He celebrates with them, he eats with them, he teaches them a little, and then he leaves. They spent three years working out what it meant to be followers of Jesus with him around, and now they needed to work out what it meant to be his followers after he'd returned to the farmer. What's more, they had to work out what it meant to live after he'd returned. What it meant to lead and live with other followers of Jesus too. And as he leaves, as he ascends into heaven, he leaves them not just with learning how to be, but he leaves them with a new purpose to go and make disciples of all nations. This might have seemed daunting. Not only was Jesus leaving, but as he left, he gave them a job to do, which was far greater than what they'd done whilst he was with them. With him alongside them, they'd shared the good news with most of Israel. Now that he's leaving, they're to share the good news with the entire world. In these short messages each day, we've been thinking about a God who reigns. We've been thinking about a God who saves. And this week, I want to remind us of a God who is with us. Because as Jesus left the disciples, as he left them facing a daunting task, a difficult time, he didn't leave them alone. We're going to look at the coming of the Holy Spirit tomorrow, but today let me remind you of Jesus' parting words in Matthew 28. He says, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. We are still learning every day what it means to be followers of Jesus. What it means to be followers when we're shut in our homes. What it will mean to be his followers once we're allowed out again. What it means to be his followers as parents, as grandparents, as children, as friends, as neighbours what it means to follow him and to try and make disciples. But as we learn, as we forge our way through the unknown future, we also have that promise. That promise from the one who has authority over heaven and of earth. Surely he is with us always, to the very end of the age. May his love joy, peace and hope be with you today.